you take a direct hit on your Achilles tendon, so either somebody hit you with a hockey stick or they kicked you in the Achilles tendon, or perhaps you just banged it yourself against something really hard. If that's the case, then this video is for you. We're going to look at the different types of injuries that that can cause, because there's actually three different injuries you can get from that. And then also what treatment is best for each of them. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Mareka. I'm one of the physiotherapists from TreatMyAchilles.com, where you can get online physiotherapy assessment, as well as treatment for your Achilles injuries. Have a look at the description of this video if you want a link to our website. The first type of injury that you can get when you take a direct hit on your Achilles tendon is that it can actually rupture or tear. Now it can be a full tear, so a full rupture, or it can just be a partial tear. Um, especially if you, if it was a really hard hit or you've had some Achilles pain on and off for the last few months, then it may mean that you've had a tendinopathy and your tendon wasn't as strong as it should be. Um, so it's always good to have it checked out if you took a significant hit on your tendon and it is quite sore afterwards to just check have you torn it or not. Um, the treatment for if it is torn is you have to, if it's fully ruptured, you have to have it immobilized in a boot at a angle where the foot is pointing down so the Achilles tendon can grow together. Um, otherwise, if you walk on it for too long, and it separates, then you may um, require surgery. If it's a partial tear, you may be able to get away without wearing a boot, but it will depend on the size of your tear. And if you want more information about how to treat Achilles tendon tears, we've done a full video about both partial as well as full ruptures, and I'll link to it in the description of this video for you. The second type of injury that you can get is that it actually goes into developing a tendonitis or a tendinopathy. And you treat that tendinopathy exactly the same as you would treat a tendinopathy or tendonitis that you get from overtraining or doing too much exercise um, or any other circumstance. So the treatment for that is first of all relative rest. So you want to take all the aggravating things away from the tendon. It's not complete rest. You can continue to walk or do things that doesn't cause your pain to increase. Um, Often it also helps to wear a shoe that has a little bit of a heel on it so that you just take the stretch off the tendon and give, give it time to recover. The second important thing is that you want to be strengthening it back up to stimulate the tendon to form new um, fibers and become strong again. So that would be a progressive strength training program where you start really gentle with things that doesn't hurt and you progressively load it over time until you can load it really heavy um, and it doesn't cause pain. And a physio can help you with deciding what is the right level to load it at. I will say, if you got hit on your mid portion of your Achilles tendon, so further up from the heel, then it's likely that you're gonna develop a mid portion tendinopathy. If you got hit right on the heel, where the Achilles tendon attaches, it's gonna be insertional uh, tendonitis or tendinopathy. And the rehab exercises for those two conditions, although it's the same type of condition, because of the area that's affected, you have to do slightly different exercises for it. And I've made a full video about how to treat insertional tendinopathies specifically, because they are the ones where you don't want to be doing your heel raises over the side of a, of a step. I'll link to that video in the description of this one as well. Um, so yeah, it's important to first take the aggravating factors away, and then slowly, slowly increase the strength. It's also important that you don't use anti-inflammatory medication within the first period after you hit your tendon, because actually that's been shown to um, stop tendons from producing as much new collagen, and so you may um, delay your healing a little bit. For the same reason, you definitely don't want to take any um, corticosteroids or have a corticosteroid injection into the tendon because that also affects the healing process. So stay away from those two things, especially in the first period after you've hit it. The third thing that can happen when you hit your Achilles tendon is that you can develop a bursitis, especially if you've hit it right where the tendon or in the area where the tendon attaches onto the heel. Now, a bursitis is when the little bursa that you have there becomes inflamed and painful. We have bursas all over the body. They're little fluid-filled sacs and, the, and their job is to prevent friction between tendons and bones or other tissue and bones. 
So you find them anywhere where the tendon is close to a bone. Now, when they get a direct hit on them, they get an inflammatory response. Tendons don't get an inflammatory response necessarily, but the bursa does. And they can swell and they can become really, really painful. Now, it's possible to get an insertional tendinopathy plus a bursitis or just a bursitis on its own that the tendon is actually happy. Now, I've just said stay away from anti-inflammatories, but to be honest, if it's the bursa that's injured and inflamed, then anti-inflammatories may be the correct treatment because it will help bring the inflammation in the bursa down. Same thing for corticosteroids. If the tendon is okay, but the bursa is the issue, injecting the bursa, not the tendon, the bursa with corticosteroids may help it calm down more, qu more quickly. But you have to get a clinician who does it under ultrasound guidance because you want to make very sure where they're actually injecting it. You don't want it injected into the tendon because that's not good for it. So with this, again, another reason why it's good to have it assessed by a clinician so that you can really figure out what exactly did this direct hit do you, to your tendon or your bursa and what is the best course of treatment for it. Now, I have made a full video about treating bursitis as well, and I'll link to that as well if you want to go find out more about that. Excellent. I hope you found that useful. Now remember, if you need more help with an Achilles injury, you're welcome to consult one of the team via video call. The link to the website is in the description of this video. Take care.